Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. If you're new here, how is everyone doing? I hope that everyone's staying safe and that you have everything that you need for your family. Today's video, I'm going to be sitting down and getting ready while talking about some BoxyCharm things. I haven't done one of these type of videos in a while and I've got a box or a container of goodies here. Some makeup, um, some new things that were sent to me from brands and some things that are just... I haven't had a chance to try out yet or in the case of this one I just love it to death and don't want to put it down so I'm gonna be playing with that today and I'm gonna go over some things with BoxyCharm. First up how to tell what you're gonna be getting in your BoxyCharm before it arrives. Some issues with the BoxyCharm premium uh, not being the value it was supposed to be. Uh, boxy pop-up we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the choice that happened for the base box and the premium box. No not premium Lux. sorry. <laughs> But yeah, we're just going to go through and talk about those things. This may be a little bit of a longer video. Um, I'm not going to go in too much depth on the makeup that I'm trying out, but I will have everything listed down below if you want to check it out. And the things that are sent to me from brands, because they did ask me to review them and leave a link to them, that's going to be in the video description as well, um, in case you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, so before we get into things, I will remind you guys to smash that subscribe button, come part of the wolf pack today. Now let's get into it. And first up, thank you to Mandy for sending me this headband. It is so stinking cute. I can't even believe it. Like, that's adorable. Um, my skin hasn't been the best here lately. Um, my, you know, hormones, that time of the month happened. And I swear, the hormones hit my face like a sledgehammer. It is staying red. I've broken out. Um, I've been having to do a lot of different things to try to get my skin under control. And it's not too terribly bad right now, but it could definitely be better. It doesn't have to be perfect all the time. I was just really enjoying it being good there for a while. You know what I'm saying? Um, so first up, a couple of items that I have that were sent to me are from Tula. And if you want to check these out, they are going to be linked down below. Um, first up, let's start with this one. If you like makeup melting balms, kind of like the Pharmacy Green Clean cleanser or um, I, there's a couple others that I have and I can't think of offhand what they are um, but those you have to dip into them either with a spoon or with your finger and then you know put around on your face. Tula came up with one that is in a stick form and it's so hydrating like it feels so good to the skin. That's smart. You know, I've used this a couple of times and it does a really good job at breaking apart your makeup. Um, I have a little bit of issue with mascara, but that's because you don't really, really want to rub a stick around on your eyes. So, I mean, I'm just still trying to figure this one out, but I love the concept of it. I think that is just so cool. Um, and Tula, I love their packaging. Like, this color here that they have for everything, it just makes my heart happy. Comment below if you're, if you're the same. Um, and the second thing, which I'm definitely going to use in today's video, this is the Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. This is my first time trying it, so I don't know what to expect and it's yellow. Okay, wasn't expecting yellow, but we're going to go in with this today. Ooh, it's very cooling to the touch. Hmm, that might actually help my skin pretty good. So, first thing we're going to talk about with BoxyCharm. Oh, it feels really, really nice and it dries down pretty fast. I think if you like more of a hydrating primer, you may not like this, but if you have oily or combo skin, you might really enjoy it. It feels super nice. Oh, and the other thing I want to try out that was sent to me, um, this is from Laneige, and um, this is the Lip Sleeping Mask. Now, I have gotten a couple of those in my collection. I've got the berry ones, and I have the grapefruit. The grapefruit I don't really like. The scent's kind of off, um, but when I heard that they had this one, I requested to review it, and thankfully, they, they selected me and sent it to me. Um, this one is Apple Lime. I love the color on this. If you don't know, I really like packaging on products. <laughs> The color means a lot to me. Even though it is a sleeping mask, I like to put this on during the day. Like I've gotten a couple of the samples from uh, Sephora and I always keep those in my purse because they are just so hydrating and so nice. Oh, this smells good. Ooh, that smells good. That smells like summer. So while I'm doing my makeup, I'm gonna leave this on to kind of hydrate my lips throughout this process. Whew. Okay, so BoxyCharm. Normally BoxyCharm, they send out tracking emails and you can figure out when your box is gonna be here. And if you don't know, for some people on those emails, they have started including a link to where you can go and figure out what's gonna be in your box. Now, I have not been lucky enough to be one of those people to receive this email, unfortunately. I have never gotten it. I've seen screenshots of it on Facebook. 
and I'm hoping that that's going to become a normal thing for BoxyCharm and then that everyone's going to be able to start doing that soon because I think it would be that's just a great idea it makes more sense there is a way that you can potentially find out what's going to be in your box and I say potentially because I have two accounts I tried it with one and it worked and then I tried it with my second account and it didn't work with that one you can try this either signed into your account or you can be signed out of it but what you are going to enter is boxycharm.com slash insert card and some people said that it took them straight to it they didn't have any issues with it and then others said that whenever they did it was not found and then or it told them they had to be logged in where they already were which is what it did to me um I was already logged into my account but then it told me I wasn't logged in so I logged in in the top right corner and then it refreshed and it took me to the page that had my selection or that had the card. I think it's cool. It's kind of like a little hack. I don't know why. Um, I guess BoxyCharm might be working towards making it to where it's on the page to where you can find out what's going to be in your box. Maybe they'll have like a little... They're working on a few things on the site. I know it takes them a while, but I'm really, really looking forward to it just being there, you know? That and with choice, where it'll tell you up in one of the corners what your choice was. Because I hate the way that they do the system right now, where it tell like, you can make your selection for choice, and as soon as you make it, it'll show a little picture saying, hey, you've got it. And then, because normally there's pop-up or add-ons or something going on at that time, because they can't seem to do one without the other, it will take you, it will automatically redirect you to where you can spend some money. And um, I don't really like the way they do that. But I'm hoping that they'll get all these things figured out and everything will just work. But if you want to go ahead and try and figure out what is in your box, I know some people have already gotten it and others haven't. But if you need to pause this video and go check it, I won't hold anything against you. Go ahead and do it. Save this video to your watch later or pause it and come back to it and then let's finish talking boxy charm. And also, when you come back, let me know what you got. The boxes this month are just so random. I don't know. I and mean, I'm guessing the COVID kind of threw things off. That's probably what it was. Um, but if it was just clearing house kind of thing, I really, really don't like that. I wish that if they had a bunch of stock that they were trying to get rid of, maybe they should just... I don't know, maybe just put that in an add-on sale or put it in the boxy pop-up for a really, really good deal. Like there were some brushes from Alamar Cosmetics that were $2. There was some lip glosses for a dollar. Like they had some insanely good deals. And speaking of, box pop-up did happen. And um, early access was yesterday and everyone has access today. There were some issues with it. I think there were a lot of people that weren't able to... Like this happened to me. I placed the order. Whenever I first had the payment go through, it said it would, or when I first attempted the order, it said that the payment didn't go through and that was declined. And I'm like, um, no, sir, that is not right. You know, I have money in there. There's no reason for it to decline. I went to refresh it. And then one of the Elemis things that I put in my cart, it ended up like they were sold out of it, which Elemis, Elemis always gets gone really, really fast when it comes to boxy pop-ups. Um, they get so much product from there and it's such a good price compared to what it is normally because Elmas ain't cheap. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll just redo it. It gave me an error message again and I'm like, well, shoot, I'm just not going to do it. And then I saw, then I went on Facebook and people were saying, hey, you need to try it a couple of times before your order will go through. And then I had a brush set in there um, that messed up and then I was like, well, okay, I will just get two things. I ended up getting just the Glam Glow Good in Bed the the night cream which <laughs> i love the name of that good in bed but the only reason why i got that is because i have a sample of it and i absolutely loved it i've been meaning to buy it but i didn't want to spend 54 dollars for it i think it was 54 um and it got for 16 so it was a really really good deal and i'm like okay the price is right i can do that but i got that and i also got a bunch of or i didn't get a bunch but i got a pack of the temporary tattoos i think it's like inked by danny or something like that i got those and that's all I ended up getting from the boxy pop-up. So I'm not going to be doing a pop-up haul video because I just didn't have the money to really buy anything. Some of the things I noticed did sell out really, really fast. Um, I know they had Viseart on there. They had Hank and Henry. That sold out really, really fast. And I saw several people who had the Hank and Henry stuff in their cart. And they were going through the same thing like me. They go to check out and because of the error messages or it's saying that the payment was declined, they would go back to try to repurchase it and then boom, they couldn't get it because it sold out. They had several items from there and like it's Hank and Henry, but I think it's, 
it's either Hank and Henry or they call it the Makeup Institute. I can't remember. The way he does his makeup, it's like his brand, but he has two versions of it. Um, what do y'all think of my hair? <laughs> it's a little bit messy today. I I tried to go to sleep last night and be cute and have it like braided, and then I took it down this morning and it's not cute. Um, Viseart got gone really, really fast, and like I said, LMS got gone super fast. I think a lot of the Glam Glow stuff sold out quickly. Um, the BoxyCharm face masks, the, the medical, or they're not medical grade, but they're the ones you can wear over your face when you go out in public. That sounds bad. Like, you have to wear a mask to go out in public. You know what I mean. To cover your face, to shield you whenever you're going out shopping or stuff like that. Um, those sold out extremely fast. Like, I, I was on, like, within the first two minutes and they were gone. Like, they sold out. They must not have had that many. To be honest, they just they just must not have. And, um, and of course, the brushes, they always sell out super, super fast. Anytime Boxer Charm has brushes, they get gone like that. The Luxie brushes, so many people love those. And yeah, I'm putting bronzer down here on my decollete. I'm trying, I don't have any sunless tanning stuff on right now. And I'm trying to even out my, like I get sun here naturally, but I don't really get much sun on the girls um, cause I don't show them off. But this is a little bit more of a lower cut shirt than I normally wear and I kind of want to balance it out. So I'm putting a little bit of bronzer on top of the ladies. I'm sorry if it looks weird. <laughs> Some people who ordered their boxy pop-up orders, do you know they've already got their tracking numbers for it? Um, and I don't think that's right because I think Boxer Charm has just sent out an email recently saying that, hey, your order is going to be delayed. We're behind on shipping. But how can you place orders that weren't even done like 24 hours ago and they already have shipping? Like they already have tracking information. And I'm going to play with the Elizabeth, what is this? Elizabeth Mott blush. And this is in the shade Peach Pink. I got this in a, a Luxe box and I forgot to, t I don't even think I did an unboxing for that, but I did get it. I'm going to play with it now because I haven't had a chance to. I ended up getting two shades of this. I got the light pink and then the peach pink, which this one has a little bit more of a shimmer. <laughs> um, kind of got to build up the color there, dude. I like the shimmer that has kind of like a built-in highlight, especially where I put it like up here where we're real high on the cheekbone. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about are the choice items that happened for the base box and the uh, Lux box. And this is for the June box. And for the base box, one of the items is the Benefit Primer. They have both the matte, the pore smoothing primer, which is like a pore filling primer. I'm a big fan of those. And then the hydrating formula from Benefit. Um, and I know so many people got the the smoothing primer in their box. I think it was premium last month and hardly anyone got the hydrating one. And I know everyone was supposed to get one or the either, one or the other, sorry. They must have had a bunch of these left over. Like they've had the regular professional primer in boxy pop-up a couple of times. I think it, I don't know if it's been in add-ons, but I know it's been pop-up. Then it was in the box and now they're gonna have it in the box again. Um, you also got the Tula Cooling Eye Balm, which I'm excited for that one. And I don't know what kind of eye look I wanna go for. Um, I got this in an Ipsy bag a long time ago, the Sweater Weather palette from Dominique Cosmetics and I forgot about it and I was cleaning out my stuff and I just come across this one and I just thought hey let's play with this today so there is that you could also get the artist couture diamond glow powder and that one's interesting because they said that you can get one of 12 shades they have 12 shades of the diamond glow powder so they must have the whole line um, he had actually discontinued a bunch of them not that long ago so I guess Boxer Charm must have bought those because that's what a lot of companies do whenever things are getting discontinued or they decide to change the packaging. That's how they end up in subscription boxes. Not always, but sometimes. Um, and that's how they end up in Marshalls. Sometimes they'll launch products in subscription boxes. You know, some companies have launched with Boxy Charm, which is pretty awesome because you can't buy that kind of pu publicity because they have such a huge subscription, you know, amount of subscribers. But we've had the Diamond Glow Powders a couple of times. We had it when it had the old packaging a long, long time ago. And then he rebranded, like he made the logo look much, much nicer. And then they had him again. I can't remember. It was, I think it was Boxy Cella the last year, or it was a box we had last year. It was whenever we got the Pure Festival palette. We got the Purple Dream and one other 
of the Diamond Glow highlighters. Personally, I like them. A lot of people didn't like the one that we got the Purple Dream last time, but I really, really enjoyed it. Sorry, I'm just trying to decide what I want to do. I'm going to add some purple into the look. I've got a little bit of pink in there, but let's throw some purple because I'm dying to try this shade. This is such a pretty color. Oh, look, it's going to end up matching my hair. <laughs> then we have the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. All these mascara companies are trying to make their mascara sound like sex nowadays. Boxy Charm, you know, they're pushing for people to do premium. You know, like, hey, you're going to get some really, really cool products. It's going to be awesome. You're going to get these things that you would normally get in the base box. But then they show up in the base box just a little bit later. So, I don't know what they're trying to do, how they're trying to promote BoxyCharm Premium. There are some things I don't think ever make it, but they always end up in, like, add-ons or they'll end up, well, not always. They've had things end up in add-ons or they'll be in the charm shop or they'll be in pop-up. It just doesn't seem like, to me, they're making it, like, an exclusive thing. Like, it's not really something that you're going to feel like you're going to miss out on if you don't get it immediately. Now, the Lily Lashes Mascara that you could potentially get, I'm actually really looking forward to that because... She knows her lashes. I kind of think she's going to kill it with this. I kind of think she is just going to make a really, really good mascara. And now before I get into the um, choices for the Lux box, because June is a Lux month, let's talk about another issue that I noticed on Facebook. The premium box that's going to be happening, or that did happen this month, you know, Box Charm Premium is supposed to be $175. That's a guaranteed value unless it's a single brand takeover and then they'll have something you know it'll vary like it did with the fenty box it wasn't the value that it should have been because again box charm it seems like they are just clearing out the warehouse some people got some really really random things and they ended up getting a retail value that wasn't up to the 175 that box charm promises with it so you know what happened to these boxes BoxyCharm emailed them saying like, hey, our bad. We know we didn't give you the value that we advertised in order to have this box. So because we have this boxy pop-up thing, I'll do you a favor and I will give you $25 to use, you know, a credit to use in the shop. So you can buy yourself some, some extra happy somewhere else. You know, something that you really, really want. Now, it doesn't sound like it's that bad. Honestly, that sounds like, yay, I'm glad they're doing something to help make it up. But the example that I found online, the girl, the first girl that I saw posting about this, the total retail value of her box was $108. And then they gave her 125 or 125 They gave her $25 to spend in the boxy pop-up shop. So even with that combined all together, she is still not getting the full retail value of this box. You know, the $175, it's just not adding up. I kind of think that's a little, I don't know, I, th I think it's crap. Like, I feel bad for this girl who has it. I can't remember what it was, um, but it was just totally items that had already been in the box. Old, re you know, like I said, clearing out the warehouse. It was more items like that. And I was so surprised at what she got in there. Oh, and um, did you notice that while, or while I was doing my research and I was looking at people's, what they were posting that they were getting in their box because when everyone found out that you could find out ahead of time, they just went crazy. Um, Gerard Cosmetics is in the box this month. Some people are getting the lip pencil. I've heard good things about Gerard Cosmetics, so I'm, I'm okay with that. I didn't get it in mine, the box that I was able to figure out. And like I said, I still don't know what's going to be in the other account though in the other box. This mirror is so small. It's kind of hard to, I mean, I guess you can kind of see what's going on, but it's still a little annoying. Okay, so for the main lid, I'm gonna go with a liquid eyeshadow. These were sent to me from Ofra. Um, if you wanna check them out, they will be linked down below. I guess this is their response to the Stila Shimmer and Glow eyeshadows. And there's a bird going crazy outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But you know, the Shimmer and Glows, the ones that Stila has, they've got some vibrant colors. And I guess this is just what they're starting out with. Um, I like the packaging. Very pretty. You know, oh, that's not a really good way to see it. But yeah, like looking at these straight ahead, they look kind of, they look really, really similar. I expected a little bit more variation in shades. This may have been a mistake. 
but first up the choice options that you had were also the same ones you had for the base box you can get the lily lashes triple x mascara or you can get the tula eye balm so i already chose what i wanted in one of my boxes and honestly because i don't think i'm going to keep that box that dried way too fast and you had a choice between the Hallmark Satin Pillow Case and Eye Mask, which is what I chose. Um, then you have the Smile Science Two-Piece Teeth Whitening Pins. I just don't know. It's You got that one. And then you have this other thing called the OC Gua Sha Sculptor. Which that, there's, I think it's becoming more popular now where you have like these little stone things you rub across your face. And you just, kind of like you do, um... Uh, massage but it's like a like your lymph drainage or something like that I can't think of the terms are right off the top of my head but people are people are getting into that right now so I guess that's the train that box charm is going on right at the moment and then you have the eco modern goddess duo which is an essential oil duo I do like okay I like some things and I don't like some things I do like that box of charm when it came to the lifestyle item. Oh, and you had the swell water bottle also, but we knew that one was coming. When it comes to the lifestyle items, I do really like that they're letting you choose that rather than they choose for you. Um, because I'm just not a big fan of getting lifestyle in a box, which is one reason why I'm considering canceling Lux altogether. Because I just, there are a couple of things that are okay, you know, that I can enjoy. But because I have two accounts, I, I don't, definitely don't need it on both. I don't enjoy it enough to need both. And especially because I end up getting a lot of duplicates. Ah, this looks growing on me. Um, and there's no shimmers in here. This is all matte, so I don't... Let's, uh, nah. um, I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Highlighter. I got this in the last Box of Charm add-on sale. Got a really good deal on this. I think it was like 4 or $6. And the shade that I have is... It's just a holographic... Mars. Um, and then they had some issues also with the Box of Charm choice. It was messing up. They had they ended up having to take it down completely. And I know people were frustrated. I managed to get in there and make my choice before it happened. This isn't really doing a whole lot, but I do have a shimmer blush on, so maybe that's why. Ooh, pink nose. They ended up having to take it down, but it did come back up today, or it may have been yesterday. It wasn't down for very long that I know of. But I know it was down long enough for the Facebook groups to make posts saying, Hey guys, we know it's down. Stop complaining about it. Like, don't be negative. And they're turning off comments on their posts. And I'm like, dude, if people have... I'm all about staying positive. You know, don't be negative. Don't tear others down. But if someone's just expressing a concern, I don't think you should block that. You know, that's just my personal opinion. Ooh, my lips feeling good. I'm gonna try this new lip gloss that I haven't. I got this in Ipsy bag too. This is from Thrive Cosmetics, the Glossy Lip Hydrating Serum. Let's just try that. It's a real pretty warm nude. I think that'll look good with this. If I was trying to do a matte lip, I would have wiped off that lip balm first, but this is gloss on top of the hydrated lips so it's no problem um i try to post things um on my ig stories whenever stuff is going on with boxy charm and if you don't follow me make sure you do because you know let's have some fun and i was posting pictures of items that were going to be on you know that were for sale on the pop-up and especially there were affordable items they were more of the lower priced items like five dollars and under or six dollars and under because i know a lot of people FOMO is a real thing, um, but you may not always have the funds for it, so I went through and took my time picking out the things that I know I already love. So if you were looking just to spend just a little bit of money, you could try to find something that you liked. And yeah, just had fun about it. And thank you to everyone responding to that and let me know that you got those. That was just so cool. Um, Almar Cosmetics liked my post because I did mention their Mojito. I think it was Mojito. The brush trio that they have that we got in a previous box. They're so good. And I need to blend this out a little bit more. I'm not going to do any mascara on the lower lash line. I don't feel quite like doing it today. Ah, yeah, so it's just... Hmm. Let's just smoke it out and blend it out a little bit here. 
Alright guys, well that is the final look. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. I know it was a little bit of a long one, um, and I'm still, I need to blend this eyeshadow a little bit more because I don't think it's quite right, but it's heading in the right direction. Um, comment below what you think about all the things going on with Boxy Charm, and especially if you enjoyed your box, specifically the base box this month. I have seen so many people, um, even though it was things that we've had previously in other boxes, they were new to Boxy Charm, and they were making posts saying, yes, this is awesome. This is the first time that I've gotten a box and I've not tried to sell something out of it. So I think even though this month was potentially a warehouse clean-out month for Boxy Charm, they did good. A lot of the products are really, really nice. I got a couple of things that were that I hadn't gotten previous boxes that I really wanted. Um, and I'll have my unboxings up soon. Uh, I've got some other videos I need to film tonight. And this, you know, if you're looking at me later in a spoiler video and you're like, dang, I like that purple eyeshadow, you just watch a tutorial for it. So you can come back to it and try to recreate yourself if you have some of the items. Like the sweater weather palette. So pretty. And I only used two colors from the whole palette. Whoa, I sure did. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video.